So Afterglow is an asset library of stuff and goodies to make your stuff look good. So for those of you who have been subscribed for quite some time, you probably remember this ship and how much we spent on live stream to create it. One of my favorite ships of all time that I've created. So let's now bring this into Afterglow and actually have a look what it does. So in Afterglow, let's go file link. I just want to link the file and we're going to go transport ship and that's going to bring in that ship. Sweet. First thing I'm going to do is scale by 0.5 just to kind of give it to the right size. Um, not really the right size, just so it fits a little bit better into the scene. And we're going to leave it like that. Now, if we come over into, let's do studio environments to start off with. There's seven different types of studio environments. Um, we will pick just number one to start off with. Alt R, Alt G to reset the rotation location. Let's scale this ship a little bit further. Now, this is coming as a collection. So I'm going to press Control A and make instance real. So now we've kind of got full control around this studio. Um, I'm just going to go straight into the camera settings. Let's go into cycles. Feature set, we're going to change to experimental. I don't think we need to. Uh, max samples 32, max samples on the render is 64. Let's just make sure we've got OptiX. And uh, without doing anything, I'm just going to press F12. Now, this is what the actual scene itself, this studio one looks like. Actually, we might just move the ship back just so it's actually getting illuminated by the lights above. And what I've got down the bottom here is our kind of like shader editor. So I'm gonna actually select the windows up the top and if kind of crack this open, we've got a whole bunch of settings in here. Now, like Curse Holt says, now, yes, I am showing quite a lot of the nodes here. So anyone could technically recreate it if they wanted to, but let's be honest, if you do recreate it, it's not going to look the same. There are a few extra things going on than just the nodes, but we can play around with some of the settings. So I'm going to go, for instance, color into the principal VDSF and you can change, see how we change the lighting in the scene. Um, for instance, if we come into the spherical gradient, we can bring this up. Oh my goodness, that looks gorgeous. Whoa, 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 goodness. <laughs> oh, that looks sick. But coming back into here, we've got decal lighting. So there's a whole bunch of settings to change the actual lighting setup on top. And we've got seven different studios. So if I were to go back in, let's go ahead and delete our studio. And four, I don't know, I'm picking stuff at random. Alt R, Alt G. Let's do Control A, make instance real. From here, I can select the camera, Control numpad, and we are in that. So now we've got our lights on the side. I do reckon though, Move the ship a smidgen. Far out. That is absolutely freaking spicy. And so now it's just kind of like all about playing with the settings. Whoops. Hey, where's my roof? Oh, walls. Um, and then from here, if we want to kind of change the color, we've got a color shift down the bottom. Uh, depending on what we want. Yep, wall light texture. I'm going to click this one into the color. F12 that puppy. Now, let's go. Let's go in orange. And we can see that there is a back wall. Was there a back wall? Was there a light on the back wall? Come on, give me something. Where is it? Oh no, that's uh, that's my engines reflecting back. I would do an F12 on this one as well. Now I actually think my samples are probably a little bit too low, but let's just kind of like smash this through. Um, but the studio environments aren't the only thing that um, Curtis has actually set up. So if we go into studio cages and let's pick um, random number five, Alt R, Alt G. So we kind of like set that back into the center. And then from here, we've got a whole bunch of sexy lights. Now to kind of like place it in the right position, I'm just gonna come into the replacement, replaceable objects, there we go. Let's bring that into the scene. Alt R, Alt G, so that it resets the location and the rotation. Let's go Control S, make instance real. See, so I can select the sphere, Shift S, cursor selected. Get rid of the sphere now, delete, and then Alt, no, shift S, selection to cursor, scale that puppy down. Now it would have been good if we actually had the origin point in the right spot. But anyway, I'm going to select this camera, control, oh, sorry, control A, make instance real, select the camera, control numpad zero. Oh, baby, look at you. And let's kind of position this F12. I'm doing squat and it's looking awesome. But in saying that, like pretty much all these lights in here are all customizable. Ooh, let's, what does this camera look like? Heck yeah. Mind blown. Now this ship, you can get it on Gumroad or just jump onto Patreon for this ship. Um, but this one, this add-on is Afterglow. Let's put in something like a little less complicated. 
So I'm going to go into uh, my stuff, power boxes. I'm going to put in a power box. There we go. Alt G, whoops, Shift S, selection to cursor. Let's just kind of reorientate that puppy. Um, what are we gonna do? Maybe we'll try this camera. No, 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 no. Let's, let's try a whole different setup now. Oops. Invert my selection, delete. Oh, this stuff. Hang on. Let's jump into the studio stuff. So back into studios. I'm gonna go one. Alt R, Alt G. So we reset the location and rotation. And we'll bring that about there. I'm gonna now go Control A, make instance real. Let's select the roof. Now, he, um, Curtis has created a whole bunch of like some nice cool lighting effects. So if I were to grab, for instance, line crest, uh, we put this into the decal section. So you enter there and then color into color. And so now we can kind of have this spicy looking effect here. Um, we can put the halt tint on. Uh, no, we won't, we won't do that. Let's get our color shift in, throw that into there. And we're gonna go into maybe just a little bit of a yellow color. Control numpad zero, oops, control numpad zero. I don't have a camera selected. Control numpad zero, just change the resolution so it's square formatting so that this can go on Instagram, a stinking power box, F12. <laughs> but I mean, if spaceship isn't your thing, let's, let's bring in a car. Botanica. So I'm just gonna go down here, control E, E, there we go. Let's go into uh, traffic and we are going to find the Nissan. Nice. Alt R, Alt G. Um, from here, let's go. Now this is part of the Botanica add-on. Go into traffic and we want to make this edible because I want to turn the lights on one. I'm going to bring in, ooh, actually, let's go this one. This one looks gorgeous. Put the decals into here. This one comes up into here. Let's go like this. From here, we are going to make this a widescreen, so 1080. Uh, let's go GG, GZZ, move it out. Um, from here, we will maybe bring it back. Well, actually, that doesn't matter what we're doing right now. If we go into perspective, I want a panoramic fisheye. Let's go 15, reposition our camera, F12. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, uh, let's quickly just change the steering. Um, which way are the wheels? Uh, what does it look like this way? This way, this way, this way. Got to show off that those rooms. F12. I mean. So we're going to do one last cage, and this is the carrot cage. So this is another one of those ships that have been around for ages. Um, we worked on this one yonks ago, almost like a year and a half ago, I think. And just dumping this one into the scene. Oh, actually. Material is a little bit too shiny. Studio Cage 9 F12. And so I just want to finish off with his last little thing. Like there's plenty of customization in here where we can change the color ramp, so on and so forth. So we create different types of lighting. So for instance, if we were to bring this back up into the colors, you can see how kind of like everything just changes. The mood changes. This is gorgeous. There is one studio, which is the ground. Let's let's find that real quick. And once again, the ground is fully customizable as well. So there's a whole bunch of presets that uh, Curtis has already created. Spherical gradients, we can add in our decal lighting up the top. Um, if we come over into, yeah, pattern, let's go, let's do that one. I want that one. That one goes into there, color into color. That's sick. Let's move this, where are we going? Yeah, we can reposition the light how we want it. Lighting, duh, that gradient doesn't really work. So maybe we'll try um, the spherical one. Oof. I mean. Mm. Uh, these textures here, they're from Dream UV. Um, I got packs, Gumroad. Patreon. I'll sign up to Patreon because uh, you get a lot of packs altogether. Check out my Insta.